All right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel, The Hunter Collectors. Today, we've got Leo in the chair, and I, we haven't done this yet, which is good. We've got a good few ones this week. Um, I mean, as you can see, what a head of hair that is. I know, I know women who pay thousands for this. Um, what we're looking to do today is, we've just had a, a little chat on the couch, and Leo wants to kind of keep some of the length, to obviously trim the length down the top, but just get it all even. So I'm guessing little bits are a bit uneven, as, as curls tend to be. But once to keep that on the top and then go down to uh, a mid skin fade. So quite a bit of a transformation today, which is gonna be really cool. Um, so what I was thinking of doing was I'm gonna um, give it a wash, condition, uh, and then I'm gonna start with the skin fade on the back and sides. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the curls dry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna section that off first, focus on the back and sides on the skin fade, get that right and then can dry it off and cut the curls dry. Now, I always find cutting curls drier, you can see the shape appearing. Now, cutting, uh, cutting it wet tends to, you get a bit lost. I also work with a girl here who's a curly hair specialist and I've watched her do it and I've spoke to her why and she cuts everything dry because it's a very visual way of doing it. It's not like cutting straight to hair or, or, or something with a bit of a wave in. You have to start really creating the shape. So it's almost like if you're doing like say an afro, you wouldn't really do that wet, you do it dry, so you see the shape coming through. Very similar when you're doing curly hair as well. So you start to really pick up the hair, separate, separate it quite well, and then just match it in and cut it around. So you don't really do it wet, you do it dry. So yeah, I still give it a wash though, so I can see exactly how it's gonna fall. I can see the shape, and see the length where I need to remove. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But just a quick one guys, watch till the very end of this video for your chance to win a free haircut here at the Hunting Collective, and for your chance to be filmed as well. All right guys, right, let's give it a wash. Right guys, so we've just um, shampooed and conditioned uh, Leo's hair. Now I'm going to start with the horseshoe section because I want to really work on the shape and the fade on the back and sides. Where this is sitting is just exactly on the round of the head, right here. Right. Remember, I want to keep a little bit of length through here as well. I want to keep this transition through here. Otherwise, if we go too high, it'll just sit, that it'll just be a load of curly hair on top. It won't have that connection point. So I'm actually going to put the guide in with my fingers today first. So I'm just going to dry the sides and the back off. Now, scooping the comb underneath from the section, put my finger in and just let my middle finger balance just on the side of his head. And I've cut. Pull it in again, pull it right out. There's my guide. Cut that in. So again, while I'm doing it dry, it's because I can see exactly what length it's going to finish to. If that was wet and I was cutting it, it might go a bit shorter because I'm a little more elasticity in the hair. There we go. So you can see, there's my guide. So I know I can pull this down into that guide. Sell this hair. Oh dear. <laughs> Wicked hair, man. Look at that. Just pick it up, man. Just pick it up. You know. As I always do, as I'm sure you watched in the previous videos, I always start with the number two. Blend it into that point there, and then start on the fade. So I'm going to start at the back. Now, that is where my guide is. Now, you can all, all see it's a bit of a kind of putting this guide, it looks a bit moddy at the minute. But there's my guide that I'm working to. So I'm going to finish just below the guide and then blend into the guide. So I'm going to work all this up and off here. See a bit of all this here when we start our fade. I'm working just below the guide. The lever down, so you're gonna flick up and off into that just to start that nice seamless transition. Lower the lever, do the same thing again. So I'm going to work from the line that I've left with the two, I'm going to work it up into my guide. So what I start to do, I start to see my guide coming through the comb. And if we get to here, there we go, and nothing comes off. Oh. 
Yeah. Put my zero line in. So we're going for a medium skin fade. So again, like what I normally do, just drop it below the temple and then use a wide blending uh, angle just to, to create that real harsh effect of the medium skin fade. So the line goes in. Drop it down at the back. Just create a nice bit of head shape to the crown. Now work around and match up to that line. Now add a little bit of shape around the temple as well. This will be really nice for the fade. So shape this side as well, and then just cutting into it a little bit. Generally with curly hair, cutting into the hairline just kind of gives it a bit more of a sharper effect. Now I'll move on to my shader. Now I'm going to use the minis. The teeth facing inwards just to work over that line just to take away the foil line we start one and a half a little higher up here start to blend that into my two take that one and a half guard off sorry the one guard off put one and a half guard on Open, make that up and off. I'm also going to turn it around, close guard, and work down as well, just to cap off any of them little flyaway curls to really smooth this off as well. Turn it around, close guard, and work up again. Open blade, lever pulled back. Work that up. Go back into my one guard, close it, and work that half into that one and a half. Open the guard. Down to my half guard, lever down, just rub it along that, little transition bit between the half and the one, close that over, to smooth off any of them curls. Working around that blend. Then just working through the lever until I get down to my zero.
going to use my size one comb. My mini is just to work around the weight through here. So you get rid of anything that we don't need, just to make this fade perfect. Using both sides of the comb. So I'm going to do, I'm going to dry it off with the diffuser to really show off that natural curl and then we'll connect it. But again, like I said, we'll do it dry so it's, you can see the curl starting to form and also the shape starting to form as well. So I'm going to dry this with a little bit of argan oil. Now, what this will do is it'll cut the drying time down by about 50%, but it'll also really help to nourish the curls as well, because you don't want the curls to be dry, you want them to look really full, and to have a nice, nice shape to them as well. So I'll wipe that through. Now, the good thing is this oil that I'm using now is a dry oil as well, so it won't feel greasy when it dries in, which I think is a benefit, but it'll look healthy. So there's a difference of it looking greasy and not feeling greasy, right? So high heat, a uh, medium speed setting, Let these dry. Not really trying to touch them too much, just slightly scrunch with fingertips. And just twist it around your fingers to help separate them curls as well. There we go. I'm going to find my guide from underneath, which we cut earlier on. Which is there. And I'm going to cut to match. There we go. Another section. Roughly about, say, a few centimetres in width, so fairly short. Because again, we're taking length off, it was going to leave it longer than obviously we would. But just through this blend here, I want to keep it nice and shallow. There's my guide underneath, and work to the guide. Another section. <laughs> Just off the centre, the middle. So again, the section is getting wider now. So closer to the blend we get, the smaller the section goes. Guide underneath. Guide from the right hand side. Now all we do, no matter how much length we want to take off, what we want to take more off, if you go close to the root, we still have a triangle. As you can see, there's a point. Higher up we go, we still have a triangle. So we can pick exactly how much length we want to go off, but it will still bend, because you've still got that point of reference coming through here. So we just want to lose too much. Did you say just the trim to make it all even, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'd say about that. So as you can see, we've still got our point of reference either side, because we've done a smaller section, shorter, longer. Longer, longest we've got this basically almost like a pyramid coming up to the top. But as you can see, we can pick up at any length we want to, and we'll still have a guide from either side. <laughs> Take off that. Make sure that's nice and straight. Section before the fringe. Pick that up. 
So what we do, we bring it back to the session point. I'm matching this way. So we still keep that hairline nice and full. Bring it back, connect horizontally through here. And then we just cut the fringe in a little bit as well. And just see the guide through there. Bring that across. And what we should do is end up meeting our guide this side. And this angle here. Here we go. Matching that side. So I'm not going to texturize it at all. By doing them sections, we'll create movement and shape. By doing horizontal and vertical sections, that'll create a lot of movement, a lot of shape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wet it down. Right the way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. 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 It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. A lot of hair came off here, mate, didn't it? A lot of hair, man. So, try from the crown, just through the blend, break in the circles. I'll squeeze these cows on. Yeah, just with a bit of hairspray Love it. into my hands. There we go. How's that look for you, mate? Happy, yeah? Sweet, man. It's like a work of art, that, man. <laughs> awesome, yeah. Looks wicked. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Best charm I've got. <laughs> Thanks, old man. Well, we'll just go over the blend once it's all dry through, just so you can see exactly how it's going to sit. So, to recap, what we did was we um, shampoo conditioned it. Uh, and then I horseshoe section, but I don't know, bang on the round the head. I didn't go too high, I didn't go too low. Exactly on the round the head, and I got that exactly the same height either side. Slightly switched the guards around today though, because I wanted to try and really showcase that, that real heaviness of the, the harshness of the fade, basically, especially on this hair, because dark hair, very light scalp, you see that very sharp fade. So I worked on the half, so the lever down first. So I did the one and a half on the one and a half guard. So with the lever down, working up, then work down into the blend as well, just to kind of soften that blend from the, the curls to the clipper. Um, and then work on a half guard and so and so, and then work through the one, and then the one and a half guard closed, and then down to the zero. Um, all that was doing was just softening the blend for me. So I was doing more finishing touching than kind of wide blending, right? And then through the top, we were horizontal sections, from this, basically from the round of the head, straight up to the center, or just off the center both sides and what that allowed me to do is create that shape and then we pick a length we like on the top and we can cut it to any length because as it's coming up into a triangle because it there it's going to be fine because there's going to be fine because there's going to be fine because it's coming through the point like that what that allows us to do is sit nice and heavy through here we we'll still create a nice bit of shape through the head as well so you've got a lot of curl through sitting here but then it starts to blend in as it gets down to the sides as well um, we didn't do any texturizing to it by working through horizontal and vertical working in these sections and over directing hair from the center of the head back to the sides will create uh, its own texture basically. You don't want to overly texturize curly hair, that will texturize itself. The way the curl will wake up one day will look different to the next day. So it will create its own texture. Um, and then finished off with some argan oil, dried that in, and then I finished off with a bit of hairspray just to set the curl, but just used it in my hands and just placed it around the head, not sprayed it all on, just finished it with my hands just for the shape as well, just to shape the curl a bit more. And that was it. Happy? Yeah? So yeah, so uh, Leo is actually a fan as well, he's been watching the videos, he's watched every one of them as well, so it's wicked to have you in the chair because, you know, it's nice to see you meet someone who's actually watching all the videos. So thanks for coming in today, man. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thanks for the trim. You're welcome, man. It's a wicked trim. There we go.
So thank you for watching the video, guys. Now, if you'd like to win a free haircut from myself in this very chair, filmed by the gorgeous Liam behind the camera, and also to win a year's supply of Regal Gentleman Maclay for you and a friend, all you gotta do is comment in the post below, tag a friend, share it on your story, and we'll pick a winner. And don't forget to follow Regal Gentleman, Hunter Collective, and myself, Dan Gregory here.